Hi everyone, I was gonna go live, but I'm in the new space and my internet's not here yet. So I have to use my phone and for whatever reason, YouTube says I can't go live using my phone. So something about eligibility requirements, yet I have more than enough followers. So I'll have to look into that as a just in case. But, uh, so this will be after the fact, you guys would all be watching it. And I wanted to uh, let you all know that Thank you for being patient uh, since I haven't been able to do a live stream in probably a month. Every moment, free moment I've had, I've been working on the space, getting it ready. Um, I'm going to give you a, a tour as well. Uh, the space, and picture this before I show you everything, but the space was all white um, with typical gray office carpet and the one section had no walls in it so with that said I'm gonna switch and give you guys a tour okay so this is the new treatment room and there's still some work to do. I still have to do some caulking and some trim, uh, paint and such. And that is gonna have some stained glass work that I'm doing myself. I will actually probably install a large curtain rod across so I can separate the, the seating area from the actual table. And then, let's see. So I'm doing a little backwards. This wall, wasn't here, including the walls that I just showed you in that room. That is going to also showcase some stained glass artwork for sale. This room is an extra room that I can offer to people who may want to um, have one-off um, sessions with people, you know, maybe like do a day of their work this whole wall wasn't there. That was part of my treatment room. Uh, so that got at it. Thanks to my brother helping designing and then doing. We have a bathroom. There's actually two bathrooms. Uh, unfortunately, this here is a mess right now. It's just the exit point uh, utility room. So no big deal. But when you come in, you would come in through this door. And so now I'm going to take you in as if you walked in. So this is going to be where the stained glass work is. So I'm really excited about it. And the main glass there will be frosted. Probably have the business name and paint. And then again, we're here. So we have now all this space for classes, which I do have an experts class and an intermediate class of spiritual ability starting the first Saturday in March. For those looking to come, we have plenty of space for COVID safe distancing and practices, as well as this is a space that can be rented if you needed to get a couple people in, especially if you want to get back to doing some things like, um, you know, pampered chef parties and things like that, as well as now we can do group spiritual sessions here as well and avoid going to people's home, um, which helps because some people don't have enough space. So we got more than enough space to have up to about 15 people in here safely with COVID. Um, I did get my vaccine yesterday, so that's exciting news. There is another door. Uh, the room down there that's closed is a tenant that I have, Solomon. He's an awesome dude, and those that come in will meet him. This room here is uh, Caroline's room, and she's doing shamanistic work uh, in this room as well as tarot readings. So uh, look for her on the website soon and to book something. Uh, these are just storage and utility room again. And then our other bathroom, which again, I still have a lot of work to do. Um, I need to like install toilet holders and paper towels and you know toilet seat covers and such. So the new space is amazing. And outside it is in a medical complex. Uh, in Ben Salem. I know I should lift that up because that's just stupid. And it's quite spacious, plenty of parking, plenty of everything. So 
I'm excited. Today's my first day working in here. Even though I am not necessarily 100% ready, I still have so much little stuff to do, but I can do that between clients, so I'm excited. All right, so as I turn off lights and kind of make my way back to my room, my treatment room, we're gonna do some mini readings uh, real quick, because it's been a while. And there's been some people who have been a little bit more um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little more antsy to provide information. So, I'm seeing if that's too dark. It's a little too dark still. Playing out with lights. Okay, so... Okay, that's better. I was like, it's just way too dark. So anyhow, all right, let's jump into some mini readings here because there's quite a bit going on. And I have two spirit sessions after this, as well as a house clearing later today. And the spiritual activity that's been around has been a little bit crazy and insane. And I'm sorry it's so jumpy, uh, downside to using my phone. Now that I'm sitting, it should stop and I shouldn't have that issue as much. But so, all right, um, first off, and this is the person who's been a little antsy. Um, first off, Carrie, or Curry, Carrie, your dad wants you to know that he is proud of you. There's a lot that you have overcome and a lot that you have put past you. But sometimes you still need a kick in your ass. And he's sorry he's not there to be able to provide that for you. So, um, anytime, like, you kind of feel like you need that, know that he would be giving it to you. Um, you have a lot of things going on and a lot of things going wrong and a lot of things going right. And he said, just focus on what's going right. Do what you can for your pain. Uh, cause you have a lot of pain, especially in your hips and your legs and just, breathe honestly um when things are just overwhelming take that time to be by yourself but communicate with your wife so that way she understands why you're being so quiet or why you need to disappear um uh, real quick rosemary your uh grandmother wants you to know um that you're overwhelmed and that you are stressing yourself out, trying to make everybody else happy and not yourself. So take that pause and make that change. Um, okay, Christine W., your mother wants you to know that, yeah, W., there's a lot of Christines here, <laughs> sorry. Um, but specifically, Christine W., your mother wants you to remember that uh, life always does seem to give you the short end of the stick. And that's okay. Because as much as you don't want it, and as much as it frustrates you, and as much as it annoys you, at the same time, you can handle it. And that's not a terrible thing in any way. So, just make the changes that you need to make. Because you keep getting in the stick because you keep pushing yourself down paths that you really shouldn't belong on. And yet you still keep doing it to yourself. So make the changes you need to make. What's important, what's not important. How do you process things differently? And how do you make those changes more effective? Okay. Walter M. Your grandfather, who you're named after, um, wants you to know that promotion you're looking for is coming. You're hoping for it in the spring, but I'm seeing it in the fall. So don't make any big plans for the increase and the bonus until the fall or spring of next year. Um, 
because don't overextend yourself right now. Because even if you did do that, knowing it's coming in the fall, you don't handle stress, especially financial stress, very well, which then causes you to become very sick. And if you are sick and unable to really process appropriately, then you will end up not getting that promotion. And then you'll really be in financial struggle. So just let it be, okay? Don't make plans. Don't make big plans. You're cool. Um... Angela, Angela K, Angela M, Angela B, Angela G. Okay, for some of you it's mom, for some of you it's grandma, but it's definitely females, um, those two generations. Um, for some of you it's both of them. They all want you to know you're loved and that they're hearing you and seeing what you're doing and they're very proud and they're very honored and they're very excited and they're very happy. Um, for some, it's the connection to them. For others, it's a connection to the, the identity of them. And that's still pretty awesome, but in a sense at the same time, it's also really kind of evaluating for yourself what's important and what isn't important in your life. And that missing aspect is really weighing heavy on all of your hearts. Know that they're around, know that they love you, know that they, they hear you and they see all the things that you guys are doing. Okay. Jonathan P is in Paul, but that's not the last name. Um, but if it makes sense to you, Jonathan Paul, great. Um, Mike, your buddy, military buddy, wants you to know he was the one who was moving the objects in the house. Um, you weren't paying attention and he was trying to help you because you've been depressed, some PTSD from the military, and he's been trying to help you with those moments. And when you get depressed, you completely lose track of all sense of reality and time, and you'll miss days at a time. Now, I see that you're alone, so it's not like somebody else is hurt or bothered by it but it's not a place to be in it can really send you down a rabbit hole that you may not be prepared to be in so when objects start moving around you are not crazy it is happening and you need to Talk to somebody, reach out to somebody, breathe, do something to get out of your, your state. It's okay to ask for help. I know military people don't want to do that, but it's okay to ask for help. Um, especially because I don't see you working. So I don't know if you're not working because you're not working or if you're retired. I feel like it's a little bit of both, but yet at the same time, you're young enough to still work. Um, so if you're retired from the military, that makes sense, but then also without working, it kind of affects your mindset. So, yeah, let's get out of that rut a little bit, okay? Um, okay, next. Who is next? Allie, I'm sorry I have not out there yet to help you with your house. Now that all this stuff is calmed down, I'll be able to schedule something. Um, or at least come down for the most part, I'll be able to schedule something to get out there to help you out with that. Um, so your grandmother, you know, she's doing what she can as well as your dad and your brother. They're out there doing what they can to keep you all safe uh, from the spiritual activity until I get out there. So I just want to acknowledge I'm very sorry I haven't been there, but, you know, I promise to get there uh, within the month of, month of March. All right, Lisa K., 
your grandparents, both grandma and grandpa, they want you to know that um, relationships come and go. And letting a relationship bog you down because you're modeling after your parents who have been together forever is not ideal for a lot of people. And that if you take away that aspect, I don't know if you guys just saw the orb go flying. If you take away that aspect, then you would be able to have a better relationship with all your partners and potentially have that, find that right partner that you could have forever with. So, uh, but you put a lot of relationship uh, stock on length of time together and that is a difficult aspect because in the end, we forget we only have 100% control of ourselves and what we bring to a relationship. We don't have control over anybody else. So when we can remember those things and realize we can't fix people, they have to want to do their own work and their own journey, a whole different world. Um, okay, what else do we got? This might be a shorter video since it's uh, less interactive with you guys, but we'll see. Um, I know on my schedule, if you're trying to book something, it looks a little kind of crazy right now um, with, you know, very limited availabil a bit, blah, availability. Just keep an eye out. There, there are going to be changes now that I got the space for the most part done. Um, there'll be some availability on Wednesdays going forward. I just have to open the schedule up. So, and which I plan to do by this weekend. So, what's today? Saturday. So, by tomorrow. Um, so, if anybody's looking to do anything and they're not finding time, you know, just bear with me. You can also message me and tell me, you know, you're trying to get in but can't find something. And I will absolutely get you in. Um, I do have some text messages and phone calls to get back to on Sunday. So those watching that I haven't heard back from you, if I don't call you or message you by tomorrow, then I don't know if the message came through. So just try again. I was having some issues with my Google voice, uh, where it wasn't coming. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. It's going to be a short one. Oh, going forward. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to be doing the live streams on Sunday. I have to change it from Saturday to Sunday due to my schedule um, and um, the limitations that um, I have if I'm not using my home computer. My home computer lets me stream across live Facebook, YouTube, um, a Facebook type version in Europe and uh, I think Twitter, I don't know, some, some something else. But um, it doesn't allow me to do that on my phone. And I'm not sure if it allowed me to do it on my laptop. So, but due to classes and availability, especially since my availability is a little limited, being at the group home a couple days a week, um, I'm going to move it to Sunday. Sunday at, I'm going to do 10 a.m. as well. Let's do that. And then... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. So thank you all for bearing with me. Um, I'm really excited to move forward and be able to offer everybody more services, um, which I guess I can tell you guys this too. Um, so a lot of people don't know I'm an ordained minister as well. So I am now offering packages for weddings, um, even renewal services, as well as bereavement, you know, if... Um, somebody wants me to come to speak or something to the to the people obviously I will um, so those are services that are there and then shortly on my webpage you'll see the shamanistic services available and um, Caroline she's really awesome she's uh, sweet and bubbly and um, she's really good spiritually and um, yeah so exciting changes and lots of exciting stuff so can't wait and uh next weekend next sunday 
yeah, next Sunday, uh, we'll do some more readings again, uh, mini readings, and do it through the interactive live stream. So, hope to see you guys on there, and um, I look forward to seeing all you guys in the future.